Kisses are so important, and God lacks a filter between his heart and his lips. He loves and kisses. What do you mean by that? I mean, this is what he longs to do, is directly contact you intimately and lovingly, repeatedly. You see, if we take experience out of our relationship with God, all we've got left is an idea. But you only know him by experiencing him, and that experience is a sweet and tender kiss. The kisses of God. The kiss is a participation in the life and love of the Trinity. So we rest in rapture, which is the kiss of his mouth. This kiss will keep us, it thrills us, it matures us. The bride looks for kisses before words. I'm telling you a secret of the chamber with God is to look to be kissed before you even say anything. But our closets are so plagued with words we push out the kisses. But sometimes we forget how important it really is to receive the sweet nothings of God that satisfy your soul. Lean in and be kissed. Kissed in such a way that whenever you lean out, you feel him pulling you back in again. The kiss can turn any location into a garden of spices with your beloved. And when he kisses you, he leaves gardens in your soul <laughs> that reproduce after his own kind. He loves you and he wants all of you. His kiss is your call. His kiss is your cure. His kiss can cure my evil and bring me to his bliss and give me him for whom I sigh. Jesus, my sweetness. Most of the time, what's missing is the kissing. Let him kiss me with the continuous kisses of his mouth. I, I was lost before your kiss, and now I'm lost without your kisses.